And you know, it still feels weird saying this, but I was the one who started the dance club scene in rural Alaska. No one was doing it. There were no clubs. I opened my club in Ketchikan, which is a small fishing village. I thought, this is a good place for people to move around and jump and, and you know, the rest is history. And then I hit rock bottom. The locals were obsessed with fishing. People weren't coming into the club. And because of that, the club suffered. I started to question location. I just wanted people to dance with. And I couldn't, I, I, I struggled to make that happen. But then I had this great breakthrough. If I have fun, people will notice. So just keep dancing. I was me again. Things were looking way up. And then I just lost it. If you own a nightclub, people have to come inside that nightclub in order for it to be a functional business. I started to think about proximity. But then I had this revelation. I own a nightclub. I don't need other people in order to feel happy. And then I just hit a wall. I kept forgetting that I needed people inside the club. The locals constantly disappointed me. There was a local who walked by my club late one day holding a big salmon fish. And he was looking at it all doughy-eyed and I yelled, it's a fish, idiot. You know, you know, eat it and then go on and live your life. You don't need to do that every day. And I took a lot of heat for that. And I did have to do some repairs. But with bad things can come good things. Uh, and shortly after that, I met a local a guy by the name of Pat Finley. And Pat was itching to get into the scene. You know, Pat kept coming around. And I could tell the curiosity was killing him. Hey, Pat, come on in, buddy. We're open. And I would tell him, get, get on that floor. <laughs> I would tell him that. And he got more and more curious and started coming further into the club. And I said, We've got a movement. No one was really doing anything like what Pat and I were doing. There was no roadmap to follow. We were carving this from stone. And then I hit ground zero rock bottom. Finley got into fishing.